tired and weary, longing for a place to rest, decided to stir up a quarrel between the sky and the sea. The sky released rain, thunder, and lightning down towards the sea, who in turn towered in waves and hurricanes up towards the sky. In retaliation, the sky released a multitude of massive boulders, which are now known as it was created by um, Dana Lynn and J.L. Mimikli during her graduate studies in um, educational theater at NYU. And so she developed it out of um, discovering and exploring what Panayism means. And she started off interviewing different um, Filipino leaders in her community and developed that into a curriculum, um, workshopped with other Filipino women, talked about their experiences, and turned it initially into a one-woman show. Um, and out of that, then continued to develop the piece into a full-length production. So it's been about five years in the making. Um, and it wasn't until last year, or now about a year and a half ago, that she um, kind of solidified the idea of a full production with a full cast um, beyond just the one woman show and um, then brought me on as a technical director and um, the other performers and we also had somebody doing uh, media and all the creative work that you see here, um, turning the painting behind me into promotional material um, and everybody who worked on the production from the beginning um, of this incarnation of the journey of a brown girl was Filipina, so we're also all Filipina, so it's a, it started that way and this is now what it is. Any other object for sexual pleasure? I am not a thief. I think that women have a long way to go in gaining equality in society. And in order for us to progress, in order for us, in order for us to progress, we have to be educated and we have to have a strong sense of self. And that's why. So we can be better, we can progress as a human race together and thrive and do what we want to do in society. She could be my best friend. But she could be my cousin. Click. She could be my aunt. Click. She could be my sister. Click. She could be my mother. Click. She could be. taken on to it very well, um, but just in a different way each time. So in, um, I think, wow, this is a perfect space for us to do this show because it's a women and trans show, or, or women and trans theater, and um, the journey of a brown girl is really rooted in womanhood and sisterhood. And um, and like in California, I feel like because there's such a huge Filipino population, um, Filipinos, you know, like it's just people aren't used to seeing work that tells their own narrative, and I think that's definitely something that people take on to. And and it's also across like culture lines, you know, people who come from oppressed cultures um, often also take on to the show. The show received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. And even though the show only lasted from March 13th to March 15th, here's hoping that it gains an even wider audience throughout New York City. I am a sister. I am a daughter. I am a mother. I am a woman. I am a human being.